Chapter 7, Peeping. After a while, the Nana took us back to Lucille's room. Me and Philip Johnny Bob got in our sleeping bag speedy fast. Then that Grace got in her sleeping bag too, and Lucille got into her softy bed. Not one more peep out of you girls, said the Nana very grouchy. Do you hear me? Not one more peep. She turned off the light and shut the door. I stayed quiet a real long time because I was scared of that woman. That's why. All of a sudden, I heard a teeny voice. Peep, it said. Peep, peep, peep. It was Lucille. Me and that Grace giggled out loud at her. Peep, said that Grace. Peep, I said. Peep, said Philip Johnny Bob. Then, pretty soon, all of us were peeping all over the place. Peep, peep. Lucille kept on peeping louder and louder and louder. Peep, 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 she said. Also, she was giggling very hard. Finally, me and that Grace sat up in our sleeping bags. We stared at that girl. Lucille is peeping out of control, said that Grace. Maybe she is overly tired, I said. Overly tired makes your brain go silly. Peep, said Lucille. Peep, 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 peep. Just then, Lucille's Nana opened the door again. Silence! She yelled real scary. Shivers came on my skin. Then all of us quick crawled under our covers again, and we closed our eyes. And we didn't say another peep. Chapter 8. Morning. Morning came very early. It was still dark outside. I jiggled Lucille in that grace. I'm hungry. I said, are you guys hungry? I'm really, really hungry. I shook them some more. Let's eat. You want to eat? I really, really want to eat. Lucille, finally, Lucille and that Grace yawned and stretched. Then all of us put on our bathrobes and our slippers, and we went down the hall to get Nana for breakfast. Lucille shaked her real gentle. Wake up, Nana, she whispered. Wake up, Nana, said that Grace. Wake up, Nana, I said. The Nana did a snore. That's how come we had to pull her up by her arms, and we turned a bright light in her face. The Nana yawned real big. It was not pleasant. After that, she got her robe and her slippers, and we, she went downstairs with us. She, we sat on the, at the long dining room table again. The Nana passed out cereal bowls. Oh, Nana, these are the brand new china bowls you bought in France. These are my favorite, said Lucille. All of a sudden, I felt a knot, a knot in my stomach again. I tapped on the Nana's hand. Yeah, only here's the problem. I think I, I, think I would like to have a plastic cereal bowl because plastic is more my style. The Nana rolled her eyes way up at the ceiling. I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. I don't own any plastic cereal bowls, she said. After that, she brought in the orange juice and she poured it into teeny crystal glasses. I got down from my chair. Yeah, only guess what? I think I will just stand here and not eat or else I might spill something again, I said. The Nana looked and looked at me. Then she went into the kitchen and she brought me back a banana. Here, try this, she said kind of nicer. I did a smile. Then I ate my banana very careful and I didn't spill a drop. Mother picked me up at nine o'clock. She came into the Nana's big, beautiful house to get me. My, what a lovely home you have here, she said to Nana. Then Mother walked to the big bowl of beautiful flowers, and she tried to smell those lovely things. No, don't! They are just for show, probably, I hollered. After that, I said goodbye to my friends, and I thanked the Nana, and I quick pulled Mother out of that house, or else she might break something, that's why. 
I run down the steps and I got in my car. Then I rubbed my hand on the back seat. It was not as soft as the Nana's back seat. I smiled, very relieved. It's good to be back, I said. Mother drove down the long driveway. My stomach growled real loud. Guess what? My tummy is still hungry for breakfast because I didn't actually eat much this morning, I said. Mother laughed. I swear, Junie B, your stomach is a bottomless pit, she said. Just then, another great idea popped into my head. Mother! Hey, Mother! Maybe you and me can stop at Grandma Miller's for breakfast. Because she fixes blueberry pancakes every Sunday morning. And blueberry pancakes is my favorite breakfast in the whole entire world. <coughs> Miss Stockdale's dog is barking. <coughs> Ma'am, you're being rude. Then... <laughs> Shh! Ellie, stop it. Then, all of a sudden, she turned around the car and we drove to my Grandma Miller's house and we were just in time for blueberry pancakes. We... Ellie, stop it. We ate a million bazillion of those delicious things. Plus, also, I drank orange juice out of a plastic cup. I said, hooray for plastic. Then me and Grandma Miller hugged and hugged. And guess what else? I think I like my regular Nana just perfect. The end. <laughs>